I can't. I can't come to this store and not buy stuff that I absolutely do not need. It is physically impossible. You can hide everything in a basket. It's not that color blue. It's a baby blue. <laughs> he's, a be he's beating the cart up. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Hello and welcome back to the Dower Diaries. I'm Jennifer Dower and I'm here with my handsome Hello. husband. <laughs> He's such a dork. Anyway, we're so excited. We are out of the house. It's a pretty sunny day. We've got uh, some clouds. It's been a little overcast this morning, but we're excited because we're going shopping and we kind of needed the break away from the moving and unpacking and trying to figure out where to put things so we're gonna venture out to at home also we're going to head to where else we're going oh Best Buy to well we had one fatality um, in the move and that was our, uh, our flat screen TV um, it looks like it was dropped on the corner and so it's it's not doing well so we're gonna go to Best Buy, get a new TV, and a couple other things, a printer, some other stuff like that. So I thought I would bring you guys along with our little adventure today, and very excited to just be out of the house in the sunshine. And we're, oh, we're also looking for a car wash. The, we're in Corey's little car today, and uh, it's very dirty. First stop, and oh my gosh, I'm always so overwhelmed in this store because oh, I can't, I can't.
need new dish towels. What color should we go for? Ooh. Huh? I like, I like this. Yes? I say you go with like a, like a Oh yeah, there's black in the kitchen, huh? Is that the same gray up there? No. I like that tan and gray. That's you're looking at. No? Is it the same one? Yeah. It's got a different color. Same like one. This is like a reddish. Same one. It's not. It's not the same. Trust me. Just to prove my point, they are not the same color. They are the same color. What oh, are you, you are so colorblind. About? Do you see the the browns? This Maybe one's a like better. a taupey, and this, this one's, one's like a red. <laughs> Look at, well, then let's prove that. Do I want those? I kind of do like those. Okay, that's the one we're getting. We're apparently. Getting those? No, I need some pot holders. Right no, not little mitts. I don't like those. Oh, oh, I like these. This is the kind I like. Why are we so jumbled and messy here? Yeah, I like this. So let's get. This is black and tan. Okay, so we'll do a gray, a tan. Should we do two tan, two gray? Yeah, that's good. That's it. That's all, all we need. need. Okay, two. We got it. Okay. I definitely prefer these, the one that looks like marble. No, it's not. Oh, look at how cute this one is with the little pattern. You pull them out, vegetables. I'm okay with this one. I'm not really sure about the. I just need one. It don't matter to me what it is. Okay, I shouldn't be in the basket aisle because, you know, my basket issues. But, oh my goodness, there's more baskets. <laughs> Four baskets. Oh, I know, but I like them. Oh my goodness, would this work? I think that might work for my trees. I'm not, I don't know, but I think that's kind of cute. I'm just not really sure about the grass. It's kind of got a greenish color to it. Um, maybe, I don't know. Oh, but these would, oh, yeah. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, oh, look, they have them that match. But I think something like that would definitely work. That, that. And, oh yeah, definitely, I think so. I think, oh, even that one down there maybe. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, the choices. You, how can you go wrong with the basket? You can. Baskets are wonderful. Oh, I could use that for my... <laughs> that doesn't pass the comfort test. All right, then. Those are cute, too. I like that. How much is it? This? Yeah. Is it light? 54. It's oh, glass. it's glass. It's it almost looks like marble a little like bit. Oops. You break it, you buy it. Rugs. Okay, so we just need to find something that'll this blend with my one. white, my white, um, like that one right there. so like a runner. Oh, here's a runner. These are runners. Those are runners. Oh, I don't want to, oh, I kind of like that. That's pretty. Like this, this is, is like runner color. heaven, huh? This is the only one that's color like, right? And they're six feet. Is there anyone shorter, maybe? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you positive? You just don't want to look, do you? 219. How much is this one that we're carrying around? <gasps> this one's 54. Holy smokies. That's a lot of money. Is this thing worth 54? It's like a rug, but I like it. It might be worth it because I like it. Ooh, clearance. Ooh, this is cute too with the little design. Okay, let's see. Clearance. Clearance. Oh my goodness, no. 50% <laughs> off. 50% off of $34. Okay, well, that's lovely. No, that's, that's a hard no. Oh no. My goodness. The options. Look at this. Corey, that's not even the... <laughs> so good. Oh my God. 
Look at the white in it. Yo, yeah, it's gorgeous. Not. This is the one. This is the winner. I'm sorry it's $54, but it's the winner. <laughs> yeah. Who knew finding a rug would be so hard? Like that. We did some damage at at home and ooh, traffic. And um, so I'll give you a little sneak peek, but I'll show you everything <laughs> later. Uh, we are on our way to Best Buy. We're kind of on a time crunch now because <laughs> I couldn't stop looking at things at home. But anyway, neither here nor there. So we're on our way to Best Buy to get a printer and what else do we need at Best Buy? TV, shredder. Oh yeah, a shredder. So we're on our way to do that. Oh, and then also set up an appointment for them to um, uh, hook up. Our hook up. <laughs> Thank you. Apparently, I cannot. That, yeah, that too. And Corey's, Corey's hungry. I'm a little thirsty. I could I could use an iced tea right about now. I don't know where the time went. Marble. Of course, we drove about 30 minutes to get here. So. gentleman helping us out. Okay, so we got the printer. Uh, the shredder's not in stock here, so we'll have to get that shipped to the house, which is not a problem. And then they're going to bring the TV. Well, so we just good. spent well, a little fortune, but that's okay. We need the TV. Why are you going in circles? Like well, I had hoped to do this haul video right after we had finished shopping yesterday, but that didn't work out. We ran out of time. I had a toe and nail appointment because they were getting super long and I needed some help. So I had to cut the day short, go to my appointment, and then by the time I got back, it was really late and I was tired. Um, so I'm gonna do the haul now. It's the next day, but I'm gonna do the haul now. And I have so much stuff to share. Um, most of it's from at home and some of it is from Amazon because I've been doing some shopping on Amazon uh, to fill in the gaps on the things that we don't have um, or didn't have. So let's see, let's start with kitchen things that we ended up buying. I saw this over the sink drying rack because when we wash the pots and pans we would put them on a um, like a towel or a drying towel and it just seemed like it was I don't know it, it just wasn't very convenient and these go right over the sink they roll out over the sink portion and all the water will drip off the pans and into the sink so it's not on the countertops so I'm very excited to try this out I haven't tried this before so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try we also needed new cutting boards so we got this design. The kitchen here is blue, so I kind of went with the blue theme, but they're just the flimsy kind. Corey likes to cook with these or, um, when he chops because he can bend them and just throw things in the pan when he's cooking. Then we picked up some new dish towels because mine were just cruddy. Oh my gosh, they're so dirty and just, just junky looking. So we picked up those and also some new pot holders with the same color schemes 
and also for the kitchen um i bought this little wooden tray from at home because i wanted a place to put our soap and um, maybe a hand lotion um, on the sink i also have a couple little potted little tiny potted plants they're air plants and i thought i might be able to put them on this too so i got this for the countertop and then i think that was it for the kitchen oh well actually we bought new rugs for the kitchen so we went with the same kind of natural and white the kitchen's kind of dark so i wanted something to kind kind of brighten up the kitchen so i went with this um woven it's white and the jute um you can see there and i don't know i just i liked the the effect of it so we're gonna go ahead and try that in the kitchen i got three of these and then also um for the kitchen towards the back um, where you come in from the garage into the kitchen i got just the plain uh jute so it kind of ties it kind of coordinates together but it's a little bit more hardy and i don't know coming in from the outside i felt like the white might get dirty if we put it there in front of the door so we're gonna go with the jute so that was it for the kitchen and then um i picked up a couple little odds and ends well i, I had picked up a cleaning um wand it's a big puffy uh, dusting cloth which i'm very excited about <laughs> i've never had one like this i'm kind of this is really fun so yeah I don't know there's something about it um so that's pretty much it for kitchen uh oh no i forgot we bought um a new crock pot because our old crock pot which we got rid of um it would stay stuck on high and it would just disintegrate things in there it wasn't a slow cooker at all it was very hot when it cooked so we got rid of it and so yesterday Corey found this one um it's the Bella brand, um, six quart program programmable slow cooker. So we're gonna give this one a try. And so that's it for the kitchen. So now we'll go to the bathroom. And this first part is the master bathroom. So I picked up this oval towel, um, well, rug <laughs> oh my gosh yeah this is not a towel it's a rug i picked up this oval rug and it has this nice little edging on it and uh it'll be really nice to step out of the shower on this because it's it's towel like even though it's a rug um but it'll be it'll just be really nice to step down on this when you get out of the shower so i got this to go in front of the shower and it's in all white and then i got um these to go in front of the vanity and i don't know if you can see there's grays whites and tans in this um so i think it kind of ties all the colors i'm going with in in the bathroom together other than the turquoise uh i just really can't embrace putting more turquoise in there the walls are just so turquoise that i i'm kind of trying to tone it down but i think these will all complement well oh and i also um got for the bathroom i bought this shower curtain it's not the liner it's the actual curtain and it has a little design on it and it's also in the white so it ties in with all the other elements of white that's going to go on in there and i think the white with the turquoise and bringing in the gray um, as a third accent color um, will work out well so we'll see when i get to decorating that room we'll see if it all works out together and i think that's it for the master bathroom and then downstairs in the powder room bathroom i needed something for to hold extra toilet paper rolls because there's no storage in there it's a pedestal sink and a toilet that's it there's no cabinetry and uh, i didn't really want to go out and buy furniture or anything that is going to cost me you know a lot of money so i opted <laughs> you know i went down that basket aisle and yeah well 
ended up with a basket. So we're gonna put this basket, which I thought really, it was really cute. I don't really have any open weaved baskets like this. So, you know, I, I had to have it. It was, it was, it was meant to be. This basket and me, it was meant, meant for me. So this is gonna go on the back of the uh, tank and hold. I think it'll hold at least three, maybe four, depending on the toilet roll size. But that's gonna go on the back of the, the uh, toilet. And then um, also for that bathroom, I needed kind of a rug, something to, to break things up. And um, so I got this, it's so cute, it's jute, but it's round and it's just so cute. Isn't it cute? It's cute. I'm very excited for this, so I can't wait to try it out. I hope it's not too big. And I know that the flooring is a wood color, so it might get lost with the flooring color. It might just kind of end up blending. I don't know, but I hope it works because I just, I love it, I adore it, and I'm excited to try this out. And then for, okay, so I have these, um, and they're so munched right now from the move, I have to kind of get them, um, fluffed up again but I have these they're actually um olive well what would you call them olive topiaries I guess they're they're three balls um with the main stump and the stump is actually a wood they're actual wood um with the fake leaves in it and I've had them for a really 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 long time and I just didn't really want to part with them and you know, there's so much, people are using olive branches and the olive trees have come back into style. And I know this is kind of not really what they're, what people are decorating with, but that's still, you know, within the olive family, <laughs> it's just a topiary, but I needed something to set them in. So we struggled with this and we were down the, the pot aisle, um, looking at, the faux pots and the ceramic pots and pots, everything in between. And there were a few that spoke to me, but of course the ones that I really liked were really expensive and really heavy. And Corey was like, no, I, I just, you know, he steered me off and said, no, we're not getting that. But I ended up again, I was in the basket aisle and went, why not a basket? Baskets go well with olive trees and olive branches and it just fits that whole vibe. So I ended up with these. Isn't it pretty? Ah, oh, I love it. Anyways, I think the sizing is pretty good for the tree, for the bottom. We're just gonna have to find something to weight them down inside these baskets. And they have little handles. Oh no, it's broken. <laughs> Zane, is it so? Oh man! Well, maybe I can fix it, but for the price, <laughs> well, we might be taking this one back and getting another one. But anyway, these are what these are what I chose. So we're going to attempt to put them in here. And when I get ready to start styling each room, I'll I'll show you how everything comes together. But we're gonna have to wait them down because they're just, they don't sit well. Um, they're kind of top heavy and they tend to fall over. So we'll figure out something to keep them weighted down inside these baskets. But anyway, I loved them. I loved the detail on the sides with the handles. And yeah, I, you know, I love baskets. It's, it's just a thing. I love them and I can't, I can't not love them and I will continue to buy them. So that is that. And then I ended up with this really cute wooden tray. I saw it in the Easter section and I needed a little tray. I have this, um, this like three tiered table, uh, side table that's in my dining room. And I needed something because we've been putting some of the um, alcohol bottles that we didn't have any place to store in the kitchen or anywhere else in the house. And so I kind of wanted something for them to sit on, not just on the table itself. So I thought this was going to work out really well. And I, you know, I can use it for a lot of different things. It's just so cute. You could even use it on 
you know, a coffee table or it's just a cute size and it, it, it's good for grouping things together. So I picked this up. I think that, I think that's all other than some like cleaning items, you know, like actual cleansers and things that we bought at uh, the at home store. So I will go on now to my Amazon purchases recently and I have more coming. Um, but I think I'll save those for when we actually do some decorating videos. But I ended up finding these on special. And again, with my whole basket thing, but they're actually placemats. And uh, they're that, is it the seagrass? Is that what they're so called? No, hy hyacinth, hyacinth? I think that's what they're called. Anyway, they had them on special. So um, I couldn't, not get them you know when they say oh you have 14 hours to get these or whatever it is so i i couldn't pass them up anyway there's six of them here so i kind of want to use these for every day when we have like um when when kaylin and annette end up here with us and if we're having a meal together i, I, I would use these and even for easter um easter brunch or whatever we end up doing um, these will come in handy. I, I haven't owned any like this. All my other placemats are cloth um, and of that nature. So I just, I wanted something different and, and these were on sale. So there we go. Um, also from Amazon, I decided um, to kind of redo my bedding um, in the master bedroom to make it simpler on myself I had a bunch of layering pieces that I was that I used in my older home and um, I'm still gonna use my bed skirt because I love my bed skirt I bought that off of Etsy it's um, linen and it's the natural linen and I had it made longer so that it kind of puddles out from underneath the bed or from you know underneath the mattress it puddles onto the floor and I love it I adore it um, in the lady that made them on Etsy, I think she's somewhere in Russia. I'm not, I can't remember exactly, but really fine quality work. And I love that bed skirt. So I'm sticking with the linen, but I ended up buying a linen, white linen to go, because the, the bed skirt's natural. So I'm going with this white linen duvet cover. And I'm going, and I bought actually um, a comforter for the duvet cover. Uh, so I can't wait to get this all put together. And then I also ordered from Amazon um, the Euro Shams in the natural color that matches the bed skirt. So it'll sit on top of my white duvet with the natural um, Euro Shams. So I'll have three of those. And so I'm excited. And then I wanna get like a blanket. And I think I wanna pull in the grays with the tans again, to kind of keep with that theme that I kind of been using in this house. I believe that about does the haul, except for we ended up, our last stop yesterday was um, at Best Buy for the TV, which is being delivered Saturday. They're coming to hook up our um, surround sound speakers and all of that um, for us. So they'll deliver the TV and we also ordered a shredder. They didn't have the shredder in stock, so the shredder um, for documents and things like that. Um, it'll be delivered also on Saturday. But we did, oh my gosh, if I can pick this up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have put the printer over here on this side of me and not try to pick it up from over here. Okay, let's, uh, let's try that one again. Oh, it's got handles. Oh, it's got handles. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I should have tried using the handles in the first place. Hmm? Okay. So yesterday at Best Buy, we um, did pick up our printer and it's an HP Envy. And it's in white. I wanted white. I don't know why I wanted white, but it's an HP Envy and it's an all-in-one printer. And so I need to get this bad boy hooked up so that we can print out some documents. We really needed this. We gave our other printer to our son, Cameron, and uh, so we needed a new printer and we got it. And that's really it for the haul from yesterday. I uh, probably spent more than I should have. 
Um, probably didn't need all of it, but you know, sometimes you just have to buy something that brings you joy. And it did. These things are bringing me joy. So I can't wait to decorate with you guys. That should be coming up shortly. And, um, but yeah, we'll be uh, soon decorating this house and I can't wait. Uh, I think my husband can't wait either because I've been <laughs> postponing unboxing some of the stuff um, just for that. So we'll, we'll get on that soon. But anyway, thanks for sticking around and I hope you enjoyed our haul and I'll see you guys soon. Love you, bye. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy